I haven't covered many of the little mini bosses, but there's one in my boo village that is worth really taking a close look at. This requires a lot of technical skills. Uh, this is called Orion of the Water. Now this is going to require you to deflect very, very good. Uh, the, the only way you're really going to be able to defeat her is if you break her posture. And since she's kind of invisible, transparent half the time, a lot of your swings aren't going to land, but you still want to take those shots at it because any little bit's going to help. And when she does her unbreakable attack, you need to be able to jump up and then do the jump counter. So just press X to jump and then X again to do a counter. It's very important that you do that every time you see that little red marker on the screen. Now you have to deflect all of her shots in order to break her posture. You're not going to will her health, health down. And she's very quick and she moves around very uh, a lot and she is relentless. And it's very important that you deflect all of her hits. Even if you're locked onto her, she's swinging off to your right hand side or to your left hand side. You still want to face your character towards her uh, because she moves so quick that if you don't do that, she'll actually hit you a few times. And her unblockable attack, if she lands that, it could spell instant death for you pretty much. So you can see this, uh, I'm in phase two. She has two death markers on her. So we're going to death blow markers. So we're going to uh, well, struggle here at the beginning of, of phase number two. Uh, but I eventually get my bearings, my timing is back. If your timing is off just a little bit, it, it, you can spell instant death for you. So as you can see, she moves so quickly and I am almost spamming the L1 button to block or to deflect as she's spinning at me. I found that to be pretty much a good method, not necessarily timing each individual hit, but just kind of the series of them, just kind of spamming that L1 button because it's so fast, it's, it's, it would be really hard to time it one for one. So again, it, you'll kind of see her start leaning and, and looking to spin one way around you. Make sure you turn your camera, make sure you turn your character towards her, even if you're locked on. Uh, it's very important that you do that. It's also very important to still get your hits in. Uh, as her health starts going down, any hit that possibly can land will increase the, the chances of her posture breaking sooner. So that's it. It's a tough little fight, no doubt. But again, uh, just practice the deflect. This is a real good encounter to practice your ability to deflect. A lot of people just dodge. You're not going to be able to just dodge in this encounter unfortunately so there you go got the prayer bead also get an upgrade here a latent skill so i want to thank you guys for watching if this video found was helpful at all hit the like button see you soon